Alrighty, so this is my latest supply kit. And as always, I've put it together in the fashion of the flowish, um, trashy junk journal. So let's get started. I covered it, I made the cover with what I call kind of retro. This is a kitchen slash recipe um, kit. So I decided I would put this paper. I thought it would go well with um, that style. So let's go right in. As usual, um, I have um, some paper that's included in the kit. And these um, tear apart, you can use them as tabs or whatever you choose to use them for. Here is some ledger paper, a different type of ledger paper. Some weekly time sheets. This came out of a Excuse me, this came out of a planner. Some dyed graft paper. And some more papers. And my favorite noisy papers. <laughs> I just love that paper. Those of you that watch my videos know it's my favorite. Let's put this back in here. And this paper that goes into it, they're all pretty standard on, on all of them. Um, on here, I thought this was so cute. This is kind of the time period I was going for. But, you know, it, it can be anything. You can adapt most of the things that are in here to any style or type. But I've included that and a few scraps that I had that I thought would look really cute if you're going to put, like, little tabs or um, make cards or whatever it is you decide to do. But I thought it went with the with a style. A couple of duplicates. This was some old wallpaper, but I thought it was cute. It has the different animals, looks kind of farm, country type of look. You could always incorporate that into your journal. And then also a couple of larger pieces of this paper. And picture of garlic. Alrighty, let's put this back in here. So that's there. Now this I just threw in here. It is, um, it has a lot of different recipes, different kind of advertising, and I thought a lot of words that you might be able to use in your um, journal. So that just put been put in there for you to to go through and tear apart if you like. Now this um, is from like a 50's kitchen. I thought that was cute. And this is wrapping paper, but it reminds me of that vintage 50's, 60's kind of wallpaper <laughs> that they used. So I put in a bunch of that. And then here's another 50s kitchen. Looks more maybe 60s. Well, maybe 50s. I'm not sure, but I thought it went. Here are some recipes. And then I had some of this um, 
it's that uh, vinyl that you put over like um, kitchen tables from the 50s, 60s. So I put in uh, a couple of pieces of those. And this is just some, um, I think this was wrapping paper also, but it had a lot of vegetables and fruit on there. And some deli paper. And I thought this was really cute. With the utensils. And this has a bunch of jars on that. So I incorporated that. Here are some more mason jars. And then these, um, I just thought um, that they reminded me of the of the colors that were back there in the kitchens in those days. And here is some advertising from the 50s. And some more out of a old cookbook. And some more pages out of that cookbook. Here's some advertising. I thought this was cute. This old uh, advertising too. It says from 1953. And this is for Coke. It says advertising from also 1953 and of course the other side of those papers now this was also from a cookbook another one and then that other um the rest of that magazine that I included that you can just tear apart from. Oops. Okay. Anyway, then I have some larger pieces here and I'll just go through these quickly. Pecan pie. My husband's favorite. I don't like it. Too sweet. <laughs> you have to have a farmhouse to have your food. drinker. Pictures of wheat. I just thought this was a cute vignette that you would see in an old-fashioned kitchen. Need your utensils. Pots. Look at that. Old-fashioned made new again. And here is some vellum. some more papers that have some fruit. This is from an old recipe book. Advertising from an old recipe book. This was a card. Just from an recipe book. Mm -hmm. I don't know what mice are doing there. Oh, 
Ham moose, maybe? I don't know why there's mice there. Okay. I'm not going to try and figure that one out. More tea. Some more pages from another recipe book. Another piece of paper. Okay. Right. If you've seen my supply kits before, you know that we've only just begun. Let me lay this flat here. Alright, let's see. Now we have the smaller pieces. There are some little cards. Here's some little envelopes. Some more little cards. Envelope. Words that you can cut out and put in your book. Tea. These are tea towels. Cups. Some more tea. Some more advertising, some more cards, advertising. These are from old, old advertising. Duplicates. Some more cards. Oops. All right, plenty to write on. Hold on, we have some more. Of course, don't you love these little bags? Alrighty, then you got the pickle bags. <laughs> I love these pickle bags. And some more cards that you can write on, either for journaling or to write your recipes on. Whatever you choose to use this journal for. Grocery list. I thought this was a pretty card. Put that in there. And these are stickers. They come off. And you can put that in your journal. Some tags. Trash. <laughs> You can cut these apart. I've used this on various um, recipe books that I've made. Here's a card. A couple of guest checks, two or three. And cooks. Alrighty. Can you see your journal coming together? I see several already. You can make quite a few out of all this stash. Now here I have a bunch of uh, recipe cards. Ready for you to write all your recipes in. sizes.
There you go. A whole handful of those. And then, I think these are so cute. I've used these also. They really dress up the pages really cute, but it's just a lot of... Let's see. My corn, tomato, blackberry, beans, strawberries, all kinds of fun stuff. So, all of that will be included. Alrighty, we're not done yet. Hold on. Let me put this in there so I don't lose anything. See, look, I almost lost that. <laughs> Alrighty. Now, oh, I hope that's not glaring. Now, I have this bag that kind of looks like a flower bag. That would be included. And then, what I have in here is I have some napkins. Let me put this in here. Some napkins. Now, these napkins here, all I had left of these was half of a napkin. So, but it's a full picture. So, I included that. This also is just half of one. Same with this. This one's a full napkin, and this one is a full napkin. That will be included. Then, as if you're familiar with my stuff, I always have to add a little bit of fabric. So here is um, some trim. And I thought with that era, you have to have a little bit of rickrack. So I included a few little pieces of rickrack that I found. And some old-fashioned looking lace. I just had a little bit of this pink, but I thought it would go. And this looks like from the 50s and 60s too. I included this little piece that I had left of that. I thought that was really cute. And some lace that you can put on our journal. Okay. Oops. And then one second. I included um, these buttons here and this cute little fork. I thought it would make a cute little handle. Arch it up a little bit. I think it would look super cute on the journal. Okay, let me get that out of the way. And then I also included some of these uh, snap-on fasteners. Um, also, I included three of these. These are the, the metal book plates. You can leave them like that. These can very easily be painted also. And they have an adhesive back, so you can put it on the cover or on one of the pages. But there's three of those there. I also included these. Let me take them out. Let's see. Whoops. So you have little fasteners and I thought the colors went with it and then I also included these these are 
um, velvet. And I thought the colors and the textures went with that time period. Let's see here. Hold on. Put these out here. And there's enough of these to keep all these in place. That away later, and then I also included uh, a more substantial plate if you want to put this in the front and um, to attach it. Um, I included these little these fasteners, these brads. Um, you can either you can either use these. I don't have two the same, but I tried to cord and it has a little bit of the green on that. You can use these, or you could always, if you're going a little more modern, you can just go ahead and use those. But these could also, as you know, you could paint all this stuff that you, if you wanted to change it. And then, because there's more than enough to make a couple of journals in here. I included a different type of plate if you wanted to go vintage. But this also can be painted. And this is adhesive. It just the back comes off and you can put that as a plate. Alrighty. So you have lots to work with. You can go in a lot of different directions as far as the style is concerned. You have more than enough to make a few journals and so let me put this in here and then you can see all of the goodies that you get with this along with the plate and along with the fabric and all these goodies and as always I hope that this finds a new home, and I hope that new home is with you.